Hey guys, so this is part two of just looking at a few ways the Christian symbology and the Christian bands uh, are including this at an alarming rate. Uh, it's being incorporated into the Christian church. They've done it with Bibles, changing the translations to make them more New Age friendly, and it's all over Christian music. The incorporation of so-called Christian rock, which is just, I mean, I can't even believe what some of those Christian rock bands show. And it certainly isn't what you would think of as Christian. So this is As Above, So Below. And I'll show you a couple of examples how they've used this similar setup on uh, a, a few Christian bands, such as Switchfoot. Nothing is sound. You've got that As Above, So Below uh, with the tree, uh, stars, pentagrams. And we've got the this guy here climbing the ladder with the butterflies towards the rays of light from the sun. Probably much like Jacob's ladder there. Stairway to heaven. Nothing is sound. And same with casting crowns. Again, I'm not uh, saying any of these people in these bands necessarily know what this is, but they really need to do their research because it's, it's not too difficult uh, now. Uh, and you've got to remember that record companies are involved with this artwork anyway, but you've got the same thing there, the as above, so below on the tree. And with, uh, like with the Message Bible, which is another New Age version that's come out, what they've done, I wanted to draw your attention to here, is the Lord's Prayer. They've changed it to, if we go to the beginning in the King James, you see, after this manner, therefore we pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now the message has changed this to our Father in heaven, reveal who you are, set the world right, do what's best, as above, so below. And you see how they're incorporating this occult terminology into the churches. And this is one of the reasons that uh, the church, I believe, is falling away so badly. This is the plan in these times to take the church itself away from true belief in Christ, I believe. And um, to, to turn the whole world toward the beast. That is the plan, to turn the whole world to worship the beast. That's what the prophecy is. And, you know, once upon a time I thought, how would that even be possible? But we can see it. We can see it now. The incrementalism is speeding up. And uh, we can see that the track is headed straight for that exact prophecy, as with many others. Now, this is a Christian rock band called Under Oath. Desolate Earth, the end is near. Got the Saturn in the O, obviously. And we've got this, they love this tree. I think it's all to do with the return to Eden that they want. And um, you see how they've done it there. It's like the golden age, the go green. And this looks to me a bit like fall. Uh, but it's, it's all to do with go green, uh, the golden age, the green man, Lucifer, Luciferian age. And this is what we're seeing. This is on Christian rock bands. People like Michael W. Smith, who's another popular Christian artist, uh, he's even doing runic alphabet symbols on his albums and with his body. You see, you see how he's got the uh, Smith there is the runic uh, symbol for T, and the M is the runic for M. He's incorporating it there, and he's doing that arrow with his body. The same two symbols. And Sonic Flood, again, we've got this character coming out of a purple abyss with his hands raised up. This is the purple sea. And look, I mean, this is Christian music. These are all Christian bands. This isn't even supposed to be worldly, quote-unquote. Uh, Skillet's album, Awake, Got that same eye, left eye, obviously the Antichrist symbology, uh, just like in Zechariah, the worthless shepherd. And he's got the one eye 
just like this horror movie, Right to Die. See, these people just said totally looks like. It's, they, they think this is some kind of joke, but it's not. It's spiritual syn synchronicity. And we've even seen this in a, um, a Gospel of John movie. Lazarus comes out of the tomb after the false Jesus in that. Uh, holds up the Vesica Pisces rebirth symbol with his hands as he prays, and Lazarus comes out of the tomb with this, uh, this kind of one-eyed thing going on. And it's just everywhere. So we've got pyramids in Hillsong Church with gates, uh, the circle across the top, we've got the mountain at the front, and the gates and the pyramids. So... Another one is Joyce Mayer. I don't know if you've heard of her. Another health, wealth and prosperity gospel preacher. They kind of give you a new age, uh, feel good, um, self-help kind of talk. But then uh, it's supposed to be a church and it is all about you. And I've even heard it, uh, heard it said that you are a sinner if you aren't prosperous and things like this. So it's kind of this whole health, wealth and prosperity Gospel and uh, Satan shows up as an angel of light. He shows up with people pretending and masquerading. So anyway, this is where it gets interesting. We've got Joyce Mayer Ministries, the hand of hope. You see the way they've done this hand on here. Now this is very similar to what we've seen elsewhere. With the we have the Jesus with the vaginal um, symbol in the nail wounds. He puts these eyes and he can see through those marks and he can see through those marks the nails removed and the beast can be reborn and he can see it's the gate this freaking thing was making sure we couldn't get out it's like an inversion of Christ's wounds right there and and almost like the gate is the inversion of Christ's wounds. When Christ died, it was a nail in the coffin of the spiritual fallen, the wicked spirits of Satan, of everything. It was a, a mighty blow to, to Satan's kingdom. There is a passageway to the most evil place you can imagine, a gate. Just like you had in the Hamza hand, that is the vaginal female symbol, the gate, the rebirth. That, I mean, that is an age-old symbol. No one actually knows how far back that goes. And it's to do with the gate, and you often see, like, the hands of the eye. The mafia, the black hand, had the same thing. The dark hand. And we have the Hamza, the Hamza hand. The eye is the gate. And this is supposed to banish demons, but I believe it is completely the opposite. It, it represents rebirth and is the gate. Joyce Mayer has got the same kind of symbology there, just like the Mafia did also. Uh, so with the Vesica Pisces, uh, there's a double Vesica Pisces and various other geometry. Uh, this is to do with the vaginal symbol uh, and the double Vesica Pisces to do with the eye. But this is the creation, the vaginal symbol. You often see the false Jesus in this same symbol, especially with the transfiguration artwork where he's transfigured. And of course, this is all to do with the CERN, the transfiguration of the planet and the birth of the 13th pillar, the Antichrist. Now, you see how some of the Christian organizations, interestingly, are using that right there, churches together, and they've put the Vesica Pisces in the centre of the O and the G, who was actually a giant OG. And we see this, like, this, this is ridiculous. There was a book that came out called The Bible Illuminated. 
It is the Bible, but it's kind of a modern version of it. And yes, it is too good to be true. Uh, this the symbology here is just clearly evident not only in the fact it's called bible illuminated but we've also got that same vesica pisces at the bottom all very dark imagery which is just it's insane what's it's insane what's going on people with their itching ears just want what they want and uh, not the truth and we have it with the chanel logo which often with things they sell to females like perfume they'll use symbology feminine symbology uh, i guess it helps to sell them better and it's part of the magic of it and you've even got a mastercard and with third day of course third day being the day that christ rose but also you've got to be aware that they can use this for their own purpose as well now with that third day you've got the sun disc with wings and that looks a lot like the double vesica potentially i'm not too sure on certain things like this but this i know is to do with the as i said before the flying vagina which i broke down before the gate the stone gate the, the wings the sun disc the black sun the oculus and the gate just like you see in that volcanic advert, the um, water commercial, you got the at the beginning of the whole creation sequence and recreation sequence. You have that uh, black sun, ring of fire, and of course this is the counterfeit creator. This is the false parasite we are talking of here. This is the problem we are in, and this is the kingdom we are in, which is why we need the Messiah which is Jesus Christ. You see, even see him using it, the triple on the Son of God movie. Their empire, his kingdom. And this is all about the, as I said in the last video, the antithesis to the thesis of a sat satanic new world order. This is the antithesis. The false Christ is the so-called peace the so-called false love false light and here, this is not going to be real light like the real christ but the, again it's a false peace it's an absolutely false peace uh, as described in the bible now some of these christian so-called christian bands have incredibly dark symbology and some of you will know exactly what this is this, this is a band called red until we have faces you see how they've made all these into threes, which is a, another thing they do quite often. But right there, you've got that same under the skin because it's in the womb. It's uh, the demonic entity uh, pressing its face, screaming the ma, the open ma, uh, screaming because of the, the nature in which they are trapped. And uh, like we've got the movie coming out called Under the Skin, which I've covered before, and it's the they're in the womb. Even their track list here, you've got the number track number one, Feed the Machine. You've got all this kind of best is yet to come, buried beneath. And this is the nature of what they are in. It's the barren womb. It's the barren mother. And this is why they show the barren land and the water coming into the barren land. And these are all Christian uh, groups, guys. Forever Rain, One Sonic, Sonic Society, the figure of eight infinity, the barren land, pretty much exact to the Swedish House Mafia music video with those distant mountains or hills with the completely barren land of death. And Third Day, Miracle, barren land this is what i mean these guys are just full of it these guys are just it's evident all over they're literally standing in the barren land as it says in psalms the, the rebellious dwell in a sun-scorched land peace on earth casting crowns and this is the barren land christ said i came not to bring peace on earth this false christ false jesus is the one that they want to bring so-called peace on earth and it is a false peace. I'll see you in the next part, guys. Thanks for watching.